again, thank you guys for coming out. Yay, get us! Yay! No justice? No peace! No justice? No peace! No justice? No peace! We want justice! We want justice! Free Marissa now! We want justice! Free Marissa now! We want justice! Free Marissa now! On the 19th anniversary of the Violence Against Women Act, Bo Porter, chair of the Democratic Party of Georgia, released the following statement. Nineteen years ago, President Bill Clinton signed the Violence Against Women Act, VAWA, into law. Responding to the demands of women's organizations and championed by then U.S. Senator Joseph Biden. In the almost two decades since, this landmark law has improved the criminal justice response to domestic and stranger violence against women, ensured that victims and their families have access to the service they need, and the annual incidence of domestic violence has dropped 50% since the law was passed. Yeah. Violence against women cuts across class, geography, race, and age. When VAWA first became law in 1994, and with each reauthorization in 2000 and 2005, the law passed with overwhelming bipartisan support. Our political leaders understood that VAWA is common sense legislation that protects women. But unfortunately, this is not the belief of today's Republican Party. Last year, Republicans in Congress tried to weaken VAWA, and the majority of the GOP voted against the renewal of the law earlier this year. Ooh. 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 Democrats yes. voted unanimously for the reauthorization, joined by key Republicans, and President Obama signed the reauthorization. Republicans' unwillingness to support this cornerstone legislation to prevent protect victims of violence is Exhibit A in the GOP's war against women. Yes. Yeah, it is. Unfortunately, Georgia's entire Republican House delegation abandoned the women of our state and stood with those who placed political gains above the health and welfare of women. Put them out! But Democrats understand that we must hold accountable these who refuse to stand up for the rights of women. Next year, Georgians should remember that Paul Brown, Bill Gangry, and Jack Kingston, all candidates for the U.S. Senate, each voted to help make it more difficult for women to escape abusive relationships and get the help they needed to prosecute their attack. What about? In 1994, Congress recognized that violence against women weakened our nation. And together, we stood up for millions of women facing a terror that few can imagine. However, the hard struggle to reauthorize VAWA clearly demonstrates that we still She'd be louder. have what to do hear. when domestic violence, dating violence, sexual assault, and stalking remain the daily concerns of half of our population. We must recommit ourselves and fund the steps we have taken towards a solution. VAWA is a triumph, but it remains only the beginning to end violence. Yay, yay, yay. If you think that this kind of thing couldn't happen in Georgia, you are so, so very, very wrong. A law like this 1020 life law in Florida, mandatory minimums could come here. And the only way to prevent it is to vote. One vote, you say, can't make a difference. But if you multiply your vote by 10, if each one of you um, makes a pledge to yourself today that you will go out and register 10 voters, that you will make sure that 10 voters have the proper ID in order to cast their vote, if you will make sure that 10 voters can make it to the polls, 
you will multiply your votes by 10, and that will begin a roar that will be heard in Washington, D.C. Yes. yes. Are you going to do it? Yes.